What is functional layout? Advantage and disadvantage of functional layout. Welcome to our exploration of the world of operational management. Today, we're diving into the concept of functional layout. Picture a well-organized workspace, where similar tasks are grouped together. This is the essence of functional layout. In a functional layout, equipment, people, and resources are grouped by function. Imagine a newspaper firm, where all writers are in one department, all editors another, and printers in yet another. This is functional layout at work. What are the advantages of this setup? First, it allows for specialization. Employees can become experts in their specific area, leading to high-quality output. Think of a tailor specializing in stitching, honing his skills to perfection. Next, functional layout promotes efficiency. With similar tasks grouped together, resources and tools can be easily shared. This helps to reduce operational costs and increase productivity. Imagine how a kitchen operates, all the cutting happens in one place, all the cooking in another. Furthermore, this kind of layout offers flexibility. Because resources aren't tied to a specific product or service, they can be easily redirected as needed. This means the organization can adapt quickly to changes in demand or market conditions. But like anything, functional layout has its drawbacks. One major disadvantage is increased movement. Since similar activities are grouped together, there can be a lot of back and forth between departments. This could potentially lead to delays and increased costs. Another downside is the lack of coordination between departments. Because each function operates independently, there can be communication difficulties or conflicts. This might result in a slower response to problems or changes in the market. Lastly, functional layout can lead to monotony. Employees performing the same tasks over and over may lose motivation, affecting productivity and job satisfaction. That's why it's important to balance specialization with variety. So, is functional layout the right choice for your organization? It depends. If your operations require high levels of specialization and efficiency, then yes. But if your focus is on agility and cross-functional collaboration, you might want to consider other options. Remember, the best layout depends on your organization's unique needs and goals. It's all about striking the right balance between efficiency, flexibility, and cost-effectiveness. In conclusion, the functional layout is a tried and tested approach to organizing work. It offers many benefits, like specialization, efficiency, and flexibility. But it also has its downsides, like increased movement, potential coordination issues, and monotony. As with any strategic decision, the key is to understand your organization's needs and weigh the pros and cons. Only then can you make an informed decision. So take some time, do your research, and choose the layout that will drive your organization toward success. Thanks for joining us on this journey into the heart of operational management. Stay tuned for more insights into the fascinating world of business strategy. Until next time, keep thinking, keep strategizing, and keep growing.